Hi guys, Micro here. This is a little video about the Ark and it's how to set sail to the Ark, a beginner's rundown and about the crazy XP rates you can actually get using the Ark. I've had quite a few of you talk to me about the Ark and how to do it and maybe a guide on it. So I thought I'd take your guys suggestion and make a guide in a short little beginner's rundown on how to do it. If you like it, I can do more videos on it in the future about more detailed ways of getting chimes and like the fastest ways to do islands, etc. So let me know in the comments if you enjoy this one and you'd like to see more. Before we get started, I want to talk about a couple of requirements. You need to do a mini quest called Impressing the Locals. You can start this at Trader Stand southeast of the Port Sarum Lodestone. It takes around two minutes to do. And then once you've done it, you can then set sail to the Ark. I'm going to talk about the main activities on the Ark. There are other activities, but I will only cover the main ones. In another video later on, when I said I can go more in depth, I can cover those. But for this video, I'm just doing the main stuff you'll do on the Ark. First off, you need 90 wood cutting for bamboo, or 96 if you want to do golden bamboo. 96 fletching is required to fletch the bundles of bamboo from the bamboo that you have chopped down. 90 fishing to start with tarpon and 91 cooking for those to be cooked. That's the minimal requirement for fishing. You obviously need 96 for wobble gongs. 90 hunter for turtles and 91 crafting to craft the bowls from their shells. And again, 96 hunter for the ornate turtles. 91 mining for salty crablets and 97 mining for the alaya crablets. 90 divination for the positive and negative energy and again 96 for the ancestral energy. So that was just a rundown of the requirements. Typically you want 90 plus in all of these different skills in order to be able to start the arc effectively. You can start it a bit sooner but not effectively so at least go for 90 plus in most of these skills if you want to do the arc efficiently. 96 in the mall and 97 mining if you want to do it super efficiently once you get onto the arc if you run off of the docks you're able to then pick up your first mini quest so for your first mini quest all you got to do is speak to bonnie have a little chat with her ask her how you claim an uncharted isle and she will give you the flagfall mini quest once you've accepted the flagfall mini quest all you got to do is get five different driftwood but before you do that, quickly pop over here, grab your 50 supplies. After this, you can do it every day for a couple of supplies, three to five supplies every day, which is great. Run back up the docks, go to the quartermaster, use travel with him and go to the Uncharted Isles tab. Do a couple of short junkets and pick up the driftwood on the islands that you find. Typically, you should be able to get it in one to two islands. That's all it should take. Shouldn't take much at all to do. Also, if you see any of these spirits around when you're looking at your islands, make sure you catch them because you have a chance of a mask from them, which is typically worth quite a lot of money, or it gives you loads of supplies. Like then it just gave me four driftwood, which is great. Once you have your five driftwood, go back to Bonnie, trade in your five driftwood, and she'll give you a flag. She'll also give you 500 chimes and two Tajitu. Then all you got to do is buy some flags off of her in the items tab. They're free, so I typically buy like five flags. So if you need to claim an island, you have the flags ready in your bank to then just claim the island. That way you shouldn't run out of flags for a little while. Also, before you go start on your first island, make sure you get a contract with this guy. Like now I just traded in a contract and got a bamboo one. So now if I go to an island and find some golden bamboo or some bamboo, I can then do this daily at the same time. So let's get into some XP rates. Hunting turtles at the Ark is great. You can hunt turtles at 90 plus hunter. You get 185,000 experience and 325 shell chippings an hour. You can hunt these for as long as you wanted on Waco and they have an infinite spawn limit. Ornate turtles on the other hand require 96 plus hunter. You get around 350 to 380 shiny shell chippings an hour and 600 to 700k XP an hour. This requires you having two spawns on your island though, as one spawn will only last for around 350k XP and half an hour. Each spawn of ornate turtles will last between 200 to 207 catches 
before you have caught all of yours on that island. Your claimed island will still reset daily so you can get 350k XP every day or if you have two spawns you can get 700k XP every day just from your daily island. Ornate turtles are my favourite part about the art. So when you're hunting them, if you do them in the typical plus shape as always, when they're caught you can free them, right click, get ready to walk underneath of them, saves a little bit of time. Also, if you put your trap on your action bar, you can easily just spam number one to lay down the trap rather than having to go into your inventory and worry about all of that. Just hunt them as you normally would anything else like Grenwalls, etc. And they're insane XP and pretty chill. I like them. Next up, we have Fishing Wobbegong at the Ark. Before the Wobbegong, you can fish raw Tarpon, raw Searfish and raw Silago. These are between levels 91 to 93, but they're only around 40 to 50 XP an hour but if you've only just started the arc they're quite a decent way to get chimes especially early on so they're still a viable resource. Fishing raw wobbegongs at 96 plus fishing can get you 100 raw wobbegongs from one spot and they yield 130 to 150k XP an hour. Again this requires two spawns on your island for an hour and you'll get 200 wobbegongs for an hour, 100 per spawn. You can cook two wobbegongs into one wobbegong oil which requires 96 cooking and gives 240 cooking XP each. These can be cooked at portables for procs and they can also be burnt so both of those should be taken into consideration consideration when farming them for chime. As you can see when you're fishing wobbegongs all you got to look out for is that icon on your mini map and the wobbegong will be out in the sea a big shark. You can just click on him and fish there and it will just run over to wherever you need to be and fish. Then it's super AFK you have the bank on your own island makes it really really easy. Next up is woodcutting bamboo on the arc. Level 90 woodcutting is required for the normal bamboo on Waco or on your island. The bamboo on Waco respawns so you can cut it forever. Bamboo grants around 40 to 60k XP an hour and 70 to 85 bundles of bamboo in an hour. This is a good way to get early chimes if you need them. 96 wood cutting is required for golden bamboo that can spawn on your island which will grant 100 bundles of bamboo and around 130k XP an hour. You'll need two spawns on your island for an hour of harvesting which will give you 200 bundles. At level 96 fletching you can fletch the bamboo into bundles. These bundles take five normal bamboo or two golden bamboo to make and grant 100 fletching XP and stack. This means you can chop the bamboo on Waco forever without needing to bank and fully harvest your golden bamboo on your island without needing to bank as you just turn them into bamboo bundles when you get a full inventory. Makes it really easy and really effective doing this for chime. As you can see, I'm just chopping up the golden bamboo. It's super AFK, super chilled. You just chop it in until you get a full inventory. Then once you've got a full inventory, just click on it make it into bundles of bamboo. As you can see, the bundles of bamboo stack with the other ones in my inventory, so it makes it nice and easy. Mining crablets at the Arg is also one of my favorite things to do. Salty crablets at 91 plus mining give you around 200 sea salts in an hour and it requires two spawns on your island as you unfortunately can't mine these on Waco like you can the bamboo. This is between 80 to 100k XP an hour depending on which boost you use. And the Alea Crablets at 97 mining, you can gain around 210 to 250 of the Alea salts an hour mining these with obviously your crystal pickaxe. This also requires two spawns on your island for an hour. And if you only do them for one spawn, it'll be around 100 salts. You get between 160 to 230k XP an hour depending on what boost you use. And they're just as AFK as Seren Stones, so they're right up there with my favourite way of mining right now. Idle Crablets at 98 plus mining are the same as the Alia Crablets, although they give you a golden idol on its back when finished being mined. This idol gives you an additional 5,250 XP. When you have two idols, 2,500 chimes and three Taijiktu, you can get a Crablet pet from the reward shop or sell it for 50 chimes if you don't want to have the pet and you just want to sell the idol. Again, as you can see, these crablets are super easy to mine and they're super AFK. You can sit there for ages and ages just mining its back. It's really, really effective mining XP. Next up, I want to talk about harvesting ancestral energy. Ancestral energy can be found on your island as a spawn. 
You can harvest 75 ancestral energy from each spring before they vanish. This is up to a maximum of 300 energy from all four springs that spawn on your island. Ancestral energy is very fast for divination gangs and super AFK. You can get between 100 to 120k XP an hour doing these for an hour. Again, this requires two spawn on your island for an hour's work, which means one spawn will be between 50 to 60k XP in half an hour. You can use these energies to turn your arc resources into other resources. So say you're missing one piece in order to create a shark suit, you can use these energies to then convert your highest amount of resource into your smallest amount of resource which then will allow you to make more of your soups and get more chime. Alternatively, you can sell these energies for two chimes each which typically is quite good, so in half an hour you can get 600 chimes just from harvesting this energy. As you can see, you just harvest these, they stay in the same spot all the time and they have a health bar. Once it's fully depleted, you move on to the next one. Super AFK, super chill, really good divination XP. Last up for XP, I just want to talk about picking mushrooms on the arc. Level 90 farming is required to forage the mushroom clusters found on named island like Joshima, etc. And they grant around 25 to 35k XP an hour with more than enough spawns on named islands for that hour. Alternatively, 94 plus farming is required to forage clusters found on your own islands and they provide 45 to 60k XP an hour in farming if you do them for an hour and have two spawns to last you an hour, as one spawn will only last half an hour, like always. The XP in farming is some of the slowest XP an hour on the arc, but foraging these clusters gives sliced mushrooms for shark soup. Shark soup is worth a lot of chimes, so it's still worth doing these and harvest them when you find them for a good amount of chimes and some free farming XP never hurt. As you can see, it's super AFK again. It's like the divination, but all in the same thing. You just Click on this, wait for a while, the mushroom cluster will slowly go down on its HP bar. Once it's fully gone, you've got all of the mushrooms you can and gained as much XP as you can from it. Then you can just slice the mushrooms into sliced mushrooms for your soup. To make shark soups, which are probably the best way to get chimes on the arc, you need one of each of the following. You need a shiny turtle bowl, you need wobble gong oil, bundle of bamboo, sliced mushrooms and a layer sea salt. When you have all five of these items, you can click on your shiny turtle bowl and that will then start combining it all together into uncooked shark soup. Once you've made all of your uncooked shark soup, you can use a portable range in order to cook your shark soups. As you can see, I'm proccing quite often. This way I can cook the shark soup and then proc quite a lot. I managed to cook 218 shark soups and then end up with 239 of them because I propped with the portable range 21 times, which is essentially 1,985 chimes profit just from procs which is great. Definitely use a portable range when you're making your shark soup. Once I made my shark soup, I just sold it to the food vendor on Waco. I managed to get 23,000 chimes. When I went over to the store, I thought I'd buy the hunter helm and the hunter gloves. All I need is some more taiji to in order to then get the rest of the hunter outfit. I have enough chimes now. So I went over and bought loads and loads of supplies to go on tons and tons of small voyages in order to try and find chests on those islands to get Taiji to. And then that will get me my hunter outfit. Also, I managed to find two golden idols. I used those two golden idols, 2,500 chimes and some Taiji to in order to buy the pet. I got the pet and I was so happy. Yeah, that looks so cool. Look at that, he runs sideways as well, look. Ah, uh, it's so good. Definitely worth it. Ah. Uh, the hunter outfit can wait if I get this crab look, look at him. <laughs> Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed this video and I hope this art guide was what you guys who requested it was looking for. Let me know if you would like to see some more stuff about the arc in future videos in the comment section below. Give it a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new for future content. You can join my friends chat Mikeru or my clan chat as a guest which is Goblin Slayers. All viewers are welcome to the clan either to join it as a guest or join it properly. Come in, have a chat, always nice to have a laugh with you all 
as always in the description the discord link will be there if you wanted to chat on voice communications rather than just in game we're getting tons of people to chat to on discord every day it's really awesome interacting with you all you make my playing experience and mindlessly grinding the same skills like mining much more bearable until next time see ya